Whew. I felt good about that one. Good morning. I woke up in my friend Brandy's backyard. Good morning, Brandy. Good morning. How's it going? So this is my friend Brandy. Hi. And you've done the Tour Divide race. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that later. Okay. But for now, we have tea. We have tea. Brandy made me gingerbread spice tea. And now I'm excited for Christmas time. Who are you, my friend? Who are you? You're so cute. You want to come with me? Mira's gone now, so we need a replacement. You want to go? Yeah. Well, that looks good. What is this? These are some yams. Brandy, how often did you get breakfast like this when you raced, <laughs> raced the divide? Um, I would say never. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I pretty much packed up, got on the bike, and started eating candy bars. Unfortunately, that was, <laughs> that was the thing. And what inspired you to do the, this route, the Tour Divide? Well, the route goes right past the house, literally right down this road here so i'd see people coming through so i housed some of them that came through and um yeah i just the image that comes to mind is really dirty dusty people with these the biggest bright white smiles ever and i was so intrigued by that like they came from canada and they're so happy and it just really seemed really interesting to me like what what's what's behind all that and uh yeah yeah, so. And you found out. I found out, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was your experience like? Um, the racing part of it was um, much harder than I, I guess, anticipated in the sense that it, um, it's, it's tough to be hurrying and not sleeping and also trying to enjoy the whole experience at the same time. But it was really fun also to push myself in that way, like I had it tried to ride as much as I could every day for you know that many miles ever and so it was just it was just really different than my typical bike pack experience trying to race it and you did it in 25 days which means yeah. you were going over 100 miles a day yeah averaged 110 and the last day because as you know like southern New Mexico can get so hot I just um I just went straight through for over 200 miles which was just huge for me and rode it all night long which I'd never done and yeah. It was uh, about 6 a.m. reaching the border was one of the craziest experiences of my whole life. Yeah. And you got third place for women. Third woman. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> wow. So that's the U.S.-Canada border? Uh, U.S.-Mexico. Oh, that's the U.S.-Mexico border. Mm -hmm. That's you. Man, you look psyched. <laughs> that's 6 in the morning. I'm pretty psyched. Pretty psyched. <laughs> I'm pretty psyched for breakfast. I haven't eaten anything that looks so good on this whole trip. Usually it's junk food. Thank you so much, Brandy. This is absolutely incredible. Cheers to you. And actually, you know where I'm headed today. Where where am I headed? You're gonna be heading up Marshall, up and over Marshall Pass, which is just gorgeous. You're gonna have the best day up there. It's beautiful. Nice, look at this guy. I'm pretty sure you wanna go with me, don't you? All right, guys, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. This was so amazing. Was so and Rio, it was great to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Dana, Kevin, John, Mira, I'm all alone. I haven't been alone since the first three days of the trip. Wow, it's kind of a weird feeling, but I'm excited just to, just to be out here with myself and my own thoughts, heading south. Thank you so much, Brandy and Rio. That was wonderful. And man, what a great town this is. I'm excited to come back and explore a little bit more. Man, it is a beautiful morning. There is not one cloud in the sky. This is the Colorado I know and love. And as always, no crashies, no flatties, no whammies. My body feels so 
refreshed and well fueled after that meal that Brandy made me. The one thing about this ride is that good food options are very rare. I've been eating more junk food on this ride than any other bike tour ever. There just isn't a lot out here. You know, you hit a small town convenience store and it's candy bars and chips and soda. And <laughs> my body can only take that for so long. <laughs> Whew. But I'm powered by kale and quinoa today like a good boulder hippie. All right, I'm heading up Marshall Pass now. And on my map, I can see very tight, squiggly lines. And that always means you're either going up something steep or down something steep. In this case, we're going up. You know it's steep when the cars aren't going much faster than you. <laughs> Gaining altitude quick. Baby, making it. You know, I really love riding with other people, especially close, dear friends. It's a chance to bond and go through hard things together and experience nature and beauty and rainstorms together, and it really brings you together. But I also love riding by myself. It gives me a chance just to be with my thoughts completely and be completely present in the moment and just focus on my breathing and my pedaling and just look into the left and to the right and listening to the leaves blow in the wind. So cycling for me is a little bit of everything and that's why I love it. I love riding with buddies and I love riding alone. But one of the problems of being on your own is you don't get to share your stupid jokes with anybody. <laughs> you have to make yourself laugh, which is harder to do. Here's a tip when you're climbing a long pass. Get off your bike and check out the flowers. It always grounds you. All right, I made it. That was a great way to start the day, a nice gradual uphill. It was long, I was riding uphill for like an hour and a half. Now I'm at about, I think 10,850 feet, top of Marshall Pass. Oh, feels good, feels really good. And what feels even better is knowing that I'm going down for a long time. This is kind of crazy. I just popped out in a little town called Sargent's and there are more campers here in RVs than I've ever seen in my life. It is Friday. I guess everybody's heading out for the weekend. Us Coloradans really like to get outside, I guess, but this is unbelievable. This is Camp Central for sure. I'm not a huge fan of riding on highways. But sometimes you gotta do it to connect yourself to the beautiful dirt roads in the middle of nowhere. Whenever I hit one of these roads, I pedal as fast as I can to get off of it. 
No me gusta. I am finally leaving the highway. God, that was like 10 miles of highway, a lot longer than I thought. But now I'm going into the middle of nowhere. It's my happy place. Check it out. Oh yeah. You know what I love, hate about wind? It changes. And right now I'm loving it, because it's at my back, blowing me down the road. Woo-hoo! <laughs> oh, it's so nice after fighting headwinds all day. It's like a gentle touch on my back, just nudging me along. Come this way, Ryan. You have places to go. So I don't know exactly where I'm riding to today. There's no town nearby, so I'm just gonna ride until I feel like I'm good. I've already ridden about 75 miles, I feel great. And I'm gonna find myself a nice campsite and uh, sleep under the stars. Right now, Right now is the most pleasant moment of the day so far. This road is beautiful. It is completely still, no more wind. And I just feel like I'm being hugged right now by the mountains. This road's kind of narrow. I feel safe. It sounds kind of weird, but that's how I feel right now. <sighs> and I just ate an awesome cliff bar. So that's always exciting. <laughs> Little sugar rush. The squiggly lines are back on my bike computer. That means I'm going up. <laughs> That's all right, good way to finish the day. I'm feeling pretty strong here. About mile 85 right now. Look at this sign. User Mira John Kevin. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Look at this campground and it says support for GDMBR, specifically us. They're in space one, trail magic. Wow. <laughs> Let's go check this out. I don't quite know what I'm riding into, but I saw a sign out there with my name on it. Hello. Whoop, 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 whoop. No way. Are you kidding me? Alan Rose. Ryan Van Duzer. Nice yeah. to meet you, brother. Oh, I know you. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've been waiting to see your bike. <laughs> Here it is. Here's me and my bike. You've been waiting? Yes, we have been waiting. How'd you, how'd you know I was because coming? Because we watched, what do you mean, how'd we know? We watched all your videos. <laughs> we watched you in Baja. We watched you in, go from Durango to Moab. Oh, man. And we've watched you uh, drive all, you know, ride around with Dana. We've just watched you with everybody. So oh. we were, when you said you were coming, we said, where we're going. Oh, this is we amazing. Gunnison, so that's why this here. really is amazing. I can't believe it. I've had a long, hard day, and here you are. Trail magic. Oh, what do you have? That, oh, look. LaCroix, you are yeah, nothing incredible. because it was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love LaCroix. What else do this you keeps on getting better now that it's handing me chips and salsa. Oh, there you go. Mmm. I'm so happy. And they have two hey, cute little doggies. Hi, guys. And what are their names? Uh, Patsy Klein is the white one. Buck Owens is the black one. Buck Owens. And then we oh, were sorry little... we didn't yeah. name him Johnny Cash after we realized he was the man in black. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but Patsy Klein, she's like the best. Do you mind if I take one? Because I miss Mira. <laughs> Take as much as you want of stuff. Do you want to sleep with one? <laughs> yeah, I might have they to both today. have to sleep in my bed. I have, I have a question. Were you going to camp here anyway, or did you specifically no, we came, come? We came to 
to see you. Well, we, you thought we were coming? No, to we knew you were coming, so we came yeah. to get you, and we'd see everybody else. Yeah. Oh, I'm well, sorry everybody else isn't here. No, we years. came to see you. Okay, good. All right, good. Everybody else is just a bonus. Yeah, everybody else is yeah. a bonus. Yeah. Everyone Every else was a special bonus it's all good. because we've come for three years, and we've met so many wonderful oh, people yeah. from yeah. the Tour Divide. Yeah, how many people have you served today for sandwiches and stuff? Eight, eight. Eight people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Sandwiches, uh, treats, water. Yeah. Everything. And why do you do that? Because we love bikes yeah. and we, we love people. Else to do. And and we're retired and we can go camp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you this really cool Airstream trailer. Look at this. And you have this awesome Perfect. kitchen. What are you making right now? Uh, we got spaghetti and meatballs tonight. Oh, baby. Yeah. How long have you been riding bikes? I don't know. You know, I started really riding training for Rack Bright. Really? In 13. Okay. My sister-in-law said, I want to go do this thing in, in Iowa. I go, what? <laughs> That's so, what most people's response is. So I went, and it was the most fun thing ever. Yeah. You, you were constantly passing people and being passed all day long. And smiling. Oh, my God. I <laughs> met more people. It's the weirdest thing. It really is, and it's so much fun. Alan, you can sleep in my tent if you want. I might yeah, jump in. Yeah, dude. I, not, I, 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 am, I am too old to sleep on the ground anymore. <laughs> oh, what is that for Ice later? Cream, my friend. Oh, that is what oh, I'm talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. And Same. then you, you have like a little bathroom here. Yeah, bathroom. You can look in it. That's pretty cool. Look yeah. at this. Damn, I should have wow. it first. Look at this. This is so styly. They look kind of small from the outside, but. They're pretty big, and this is your bedroom. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and you have a shower. And a shower. No way. Look at that. The shower is. Look at that. Cool. And Marsha loves that that I can take a shower to ride and bike all day. Yeah, so you don't stink it up. Oh man. And that concludes our tour of the, oh, Airstream. the Airstream. Oh my dear lord, look at that. <laughs> This is incredible. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. that, gonna gonna send Sunday sauce. That is heavy too. <laughs> Family style dinner in oh, a yeah. campground. Oh, yeah. Life in the middle is of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Life is beautiful. So watch County, Colorado. Alan, what have you done? Yeah, we're talking brownies. You gotta have brownies. Look at that. Chocolate cherry with chili powder. Really? Reaching. In Gunnison, he's known as the pie man in. because he is. He's famous in our town for making pies, <laughs> and people oh. love his pies. Really? What do you do with your pies? You sell them? You give them away? Give them away. Yeah. Eat them. Eat them is a problem. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Good work, my man. Yeah. Yep. My family always had desserts. Always. And that's that was the point of dinner. I'm finally going to bed. It uh, was too fun to leave the company of uh, Alan and Marsha. They're such good people. And what a finish to the day <laughs> to see that sign with my name on it and uh, just show up and they were ready with food and drinks and treats. And these people have hearts of gold, 100%. They sat here all day and gave all the cyclists who came by a treat, a sandwich, you know, just because they love it. They love meeting people. and. They're cyclists themselves, and they get inspired by seeing the riders out. And uh, I'm inspired by seeing them. They are some of the best, and this trail has really, it's the best part of it, is, are the people that I've met along the way. Every day there's a surprise, and today's surprise was one of the best, for sure. Buenas noches. Mm -hmm.